mute myself so you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> uh, we are live. So they heard you say you're going to be. <laughs> She's dancing. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, we should probably wait a second uh, to get anybody who comes on uh, before we. Oh, Mecca said. Oh, Mecca. Sorry, Rachel. You were like, okay. So for context, I've got my phone like here and then my camera for the stream here. So I'm live twice. And my phone was like right in front where you were there. So I couldn't see you in the studio in the like waiting lounge thing. Uh, how is everyone? All right. Hey. <laughs> there. Grab my cat ears. <gasps> Melvana! <laughs> Oh, I have oh, I do have cat ears. I definitely have cat ears too. Melverna, you need some cat ears. Or we're just going to kick you off the stream. No offense. I have the personality. I don't need the ears. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, we'll allow it. Just this once. I, and to be honest, I didn't think I had cat ears. <laughs> um, how is everyone doing today? All right. Good, good. Here. <laughs> that is a positive. Um, I love that. Um, right. We are going to spin from the wheel of smut. But first, who did last week's smut prompt? I am guilty once again. I need to catch up. But I, I, I had a 20,000 word writing day. Uh because I have to average 9,900 words a day to get Hayden's stalker finished. <laughs> so I am, it's, it's getting like every week. I feel like every week I see you guys and I'm like, I didn't write my will of smut this week, but I've got to do 6,000 words a day. I've got to do 8,000. I've got to do 10,000 words. It's just getting worse. Um, but who did do it? <laughs> I did. I did not. I was naughty. <sighs> <laughs> what, what did you write, Melvana? I wrote, um, oh, yes. So basically, um, my pharmacist had a thing for a specific customer. And when he, he always noticed that she would buy condoms. So when her purchases didn't have condoms, he was like, um, you're missing something. And so she's like, no. Uh, you know, um, I won't be needing those for a while. And he's like, um, actually, you do. Go get yourself some double XL and meet me in my office. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I see a trip to the pharmacy in my future. <laughs> right? <laughs> double XL condoms, you say. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so I don't think I know EJ didn't do the, yours either. So and what did you what did you do this week if you did not if not for writing smut from the wheel of smut what did you write? Uh, the mistresses of blunt, which is the sex club that's in my uh, my series, decreed that this week would be a punishment scene uh, between one of the masters and the submissive, uh, who um, they've taken a dislike to. She has her issues. Bratting is one of them. Uh, so I love he decided that she needed to be publicly humiliated. And he took her out of the club, put her in a clown mask, and made her clean a bathroom, a public bathroom, with her toothbrush. Oh, snap! Whoa. Uh, I feel like I'm glad that these are on headphones. I kind of want to explain it for the live. <laughs> they, they're, they're just no. They hear nothing. Okay, I got to explain this. EJ Frost wrote a scene this week. I'm going to say it. Watch this get. You guys have seen the full version, and now you're going to see the TikTok like version of that. <laughs> In it. Uh, yeah. In it. Uh, so she needed to be downgraded. By her now, is it master? Is it master slave, or is it just dom sub? Uh, they are, they have a master slave. Uh, okay, so it is MS, uh, and she needed to be downgraded, so she cleans a public bathroom with her toothbrush. <laughs> I 
Yeah. <laughs> Now you know my reaction. Yeah, I was like, that makes perfect sense. Okay, it makes perfect sense. Your reaction makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, so we, we call it downgrading. Uh, it's how we just pass that through. But you know, the rest of it I was able to explain. Um, <laughs> uh, what about you, Rachel? What did you write this week? So I'm working on a. Um, Bratva series that takes place in Las Vegas. And so I did a, I don't know if you can see my keep calm and do yoga mug. Anyway, I did a very interesting um, yoga scene. Yeah. <laughs> mm, an interesting yoga scene. Yes, yes. He doesn't like to be dominated, obviously, but she was the teacher. <laughs> she just taught him a few new poses, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. All right. Let's spin from the wheel of smut and see what we get. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Let me. F oh, wait. It would probably help if I add it to the stream. I mean, look, <laughs> crazy, crazy idea. Let's do something out there. Here we go. Do, do, do. What are we going to get? Hi, Hellfire. Hmm. Oh, yes. I wanted this one for ages. A librarian who doesn't fit into the common librarian stereotype. I'm excited. But how are you going to fit that in within your 20,000 words a day? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's only 9,900 words a day, Melvina. <laughs> <laughs> like when I saw that word count, I'm like, how are you still alive? It was, I, I did give the huge caveat that um, it is a companion novel. So like all of the dialogue is there and the story is set in stone. So it's literally just writing his POV of it. Mm. Um, without that, there's no way I could do huge fucking 20,000 word. My biggest writing day ever was about 14 and a half thousand words. Mm. And that was the day that I started writing the baby because I wrote their whole first night, which was like four chapters, I think. And I just wrote all day and just. <laughs> um, so that was my biggest writing day ever. But uh, like for companion novels that like, cause like I got to dump. Oh, hi, hi, Michael. Hi, Linda. Um, the. Yeah, for companion novels, you get to, you know, if there's like a paragraph of dialogue, that's all there. So it's just like changing she said to she says, <laughs> like because it was also third person past to first person um, present. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot easier. That's why I'm like, I, that's why I was like, it's massive caveat massive caveat that it's a companion novel and don't like that's not a, a realistic ongoing and then I didn't write I did it because I knew I had to average about 9,000 words a day to get it done and um I knew I wouldn't be able to write anything the next day because it was my big day like at work and that exactly was how it played out I wrote about like a thousand words the next day so yeah but I, so I'm now like I was looking at the list earlier. Hang on, what was the last one I did? Sexy photographer who doesn't like to touch. So no, I did the suitcase mi mix up. I'm only four behind. Okay, I'm only four behind. I can catch up, <laughs> and I intend to. But the problem is, like each time that I see one, that I'm like, oh, I really want to write this. I'm like, no, because I want to write them in order. <laughs> because I want to number them, the numbers that they were drawn. So I'll catch up. I'm going to write one this week. That's my promise to you, patrons. My promise to you is I will write one this week. I, but then I have to find, and then it's feeling guilty that I'm not writing the book I'm meant to be finishing by Friday. <laughs> but it's okay. It's one thing. Two sprints. Two writing sprints. That's all i got to give up. <laughs> I, I, um, I wish I could produce words like you then. <laughs> well, because it's only, it's like these only have to be 500 to 1500 words. So they, they're very small. You do understand the book I'm writing is going to end at like 170,000 words, right? <laughs> I thought it was 100. 
No, no I had to write a hundred more. <laughs> it's um. Hang on, let me find the switch to this tab. Hang on. Uh, it is current word count is one hundred nine thousand three hundred sixty two words. The estimated total word count based on the extra words compared to her novel is uh, 28,389 extra words. So the total word count is estimated at 168,800, mm-hmm. which means I have 59,438 words mm-hmm. left to write. So I have to smash out the equivalent of a full fucking novel in a week. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. I can do it. It's good. It's good. We got this. We got you, know, this. you know what? We're going to be like, yeah. Um, have you seen Sean lately? Um, she kept going, it's fine. It's okay. Even when they put her in the straight jacket. And she's like, no, no, no. I can do it. I can do it. Even while they were. Have more words to write. <laughs> Mental institution. But she, I think she was fine. Like, next. Hey, hey. Next Saturday's Will Smut dr- draw. In theory. I'll have finished this fucking book. In theory, I'll be here like, oh, guys, I have all the time in the world. But then I just want to write Wicked Freedom in a month. It's okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> because Friday is also my last day at my job. If I hadn't Ooh. given the extra two weeks of notice... <laughs> that I didn't need to give. This is why Louise said to me, she said, don't do consulting hours. Don't do it. They will make, they will figure it out. Don't do it. Focus on writing. <sighs> we can, I've got this. It'll be fine, guys. Look forward to like <laughs> next week's wheel spin with a very happy, happy, happy. Do I hate, actually, I just want to say, I just want to acknowledge because we both were just like, yes, okay. I hate that that is like a dog whistle for white supremacists. Like, what the fuck? What yeah, I know. Is? Oh, the OK symbol? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. And I felt like, EJ, because you did it and I did it without thinking. I was like, yes, OK. But then I was also aware I'm on TikTok and that's full of some bad, sh- bad shit. So, yeah. Heads yeah. up. They go, everybody learned something today. Um, they do like to co opt everything that's good. <laughs> right? Especially because it's stuff that, it's always stuff that is super like, you wouldn't realize it. Like, it's like, you know, it looks innocent. And we would use it innocently. But then also, we are both very white. So I just wanted to draw attention to the fact that that was not a dog whistle. White supremacy is bag. Oh, God, I'm going to be banned off TikTok, I think. <laughs> you can't say that. You, you can't say that on TikTok, can you? You'll be fine. My, my, last, my last TikTok ban was literally for calling someone racist. <laughs> so, you know, fun life. But yes, uh, look, we like to keep these uh, smut drawers nice and light and easy. <laughs> We're talking about me being taken away in a, in a white van, which could happen because I, I it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> it's fine. There's no stress, no stress whatsoever. It's okay. Yes, you're not scaring anybody at all. <laughs> It'll be fine. Hello. Um, ooh, and yes, so next week I am hoping to, I, I, I'm going to try and write one of these. I'm going to try and write one of these in this week. It'll be chill. And then next week, look at me. I'll be like so happy. I'll be like, hey, I'm catching up on all of them. It starts with a midnight knock on the door. That's the one I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, that works really well for Ch- uh, Chelsea and Grant. As it, as Sean, it's amusing. It's watching you here as when you keep. Oh, it's as amusing watching you here as when you write and keep that up, and you'll be finishing it all in no time. I have been. I forget who suggested it. I've been doing streams where I write. Oh my god! Yeah, I've been doing streams where I write um, and share my screen using Streamyard um, to my patrons. So that's like, because I was very sad that I did gave them no content in August or low content in August. 
Uh, so the only people missing out are the $2 ones, the ones that pay specifically for the Wheel of Smart, but I promise I will catch up. I promise I will catch you up. Please hold on. Please hold on. I will catch you up. <laughs> But yeah, so at least the the other patrons are getting the uh, live streams of me writing. They get to literally watch me write those stupidly high word count days. <laughs> Enjoy that. They like they're trying to keep track of the story, and they can't even because they're like, "What the fucking chapter she's on? I missed one sprint, and now she's two chapters on. Got to keep up." <laughs> Are you a chronological writer or you you go all over the place? Uh, well, in the case of, because it's a companion novel, it's like literally the story yeah. from start to finish. Yeah, 20K. <laughs> My TikTok live's like 20,000 words in a day. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was pretty, yeah. it was a wild day. I, it was four, but to be fair, that was 4 a.m. to 4 a.m. It was like 24 hours. So I woke up at 4 a.m. I wrote between 4 and 5. Then I went to work. And then I wrote when I – I definitely didn't write on work hours. <laughs> no. 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 You sort of all that write on work until after work. <laughs> that's and so that's right. I definitely your fingers. Yeah. did not write on work hours. And then um, I got home, I put the boys to bed and then I wrote like again and these guys were there when I was like writing on live to, until I was like, if I could smash out. And because I dumped in some of the stalker letters, that was like 285 words, I think. So I was like, I have to go over 20,000 by 285 for this to count mm -hmm. as a 20,000 word day. Uh, so it's 20,611 words. <laughs> But it's a companion novel, so it's like, yeah, it's cheating. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is a lot. You two don't have a frown muscle in your faces. <laughs> I frown a lot. <laughs> is that a frown or a squint? <laughs> oh, wow, Melvin, are you gonna are you gonna be out here insulting my frown? <laughs> How could you? <laughs> um, but if if we don't end this broadcast soon, it's going to turn into one of my lives that goes like six <laughs> hours. <laughs> Y'all don't need that in your life. And you need to do another 9,000 um, day. You are not wrong. I have only written <laughs> 1,089 words today. Uh, so it is 12.19 a.m., but it is still today until I go to sleep. So if I can, that's how it works with my sleep schedule, okay? So still today until I get to sleep. So if I can knock out a few writing sprints, my biggest, yesterday I got 1,598 words in a 25-minute sprint, but again, companion novel, okay? So that's real easy. And if Lewis can keep me on track tomorrow, I'm re now relying on my eight-year-old to keep me on track for my writing sprints. <laughs> then um, that I should knock out the words. If he is keeping me on track, then he's he's pretty by the book. So I think we've got this. We, together as a team, <laughs> we'll get this done. And next week you'll see me and I'll be like, I can write whatever I want. Except that I want to write a book in a month. So there'll be that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just like, I, I'm i very uh, interested in definitely getting Wicked Freedom out November 18th, which means that I have to have that finished by the 31st of October. Like, why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Who knows? All right. Hi, Lou. Um, okay, I am going to end this live so I can st <laughs> I gotta get some writing done. <laughs> Bye, ladies. I'm going to try and catch up on one. Oh, did you guys talk about what you plan to do? Are you? I have been stealing the attention of this live. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what do you guys plan to do with this 
this thing I didn't even talk about that and I feel very terrible that I did I I stole all of the attention I'm sorry I'm sorry what are you guys what are you guys planning to do with it what was it <laughs> What the librarian. The librarian. librarian. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys want to do with it? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. So I'm because I'm working on two specific characters for all of these because this is going to eventually be a book. So I think I may have to start to introduce some other secondary characters. I think Ooh. that makes it like where I need to kind of go. So we'll see. Yeah. I love that you're turning these into a book. That's awesome. Totally unplanned. This this was not on the to-do list. And I'm like, well, here we go. If <laughs> you're doing all the writing, then yeah. why not? Bonus book. What about you, Melvena? I'm not really sure. I'm pretty, what I am sure about is that my patrons want a new couple because they seem to enjoy – um new couples even though they love the ones i write so it's not that you know um what i write isn't steamy because i have to fan myself sometimes as i write personally <laughs> but um they I don't they break enjoy, they enjoy the <laughs> dynamic of exploring a new couple and how they end up getting it on Ooh, yes so we call them on tiktok adult breaks sometimes you got to take an adult break when you're writing and it, that's okay <laughs> melverna <laughs> you mean just like how that um they call them one-handed reads now <laughs> yes that's right we're like oh that book was very good i had to take an adult break <laughs> <laughs> aj what do you plan to do with your librarian that doesn't fit the librarian stereotype I'm going to throw that one open to uh, the mistresses of Blunts and see what it is that they want to do. Um, we have a librarian uh, at mm. Blunts, but she is main character in the series. And the next book is coming out uh, early 2023. And I can't give the plot away for that one. So she needs not to be a character in this. In but this it could scene, be someone so. she works with. I'll throw it open to them and see who they'd like to see. Um, and if I can work a librarian into that, that'd be great. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I will let you guys go. I am super duper sorry for stealing all of the, for this being unfocused. I very much apologize. I'm sorry. Thank you guys again for joining us, Linda and Michael. You guys are the best. You come to all of these. Also, the people who watch this on replay, you also are the best because we know that we switched the time so that I wasn't yawning and then I yawned all the time anyway. So, you know, swing some roundabouts. <laughs> Um, all right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.